Hey, good morning, everyone. Happy Thursday. Rob here from Southwest Florida Television. Another beautiful morning. 65 degrees right now. No red tide. No red tide warnings here at Del Nor Wiggins. There is some red tide though in Collier County. I heard that on the news this morning. I don't know exactly where it is. I believe it's down to the south of us. Nice and flat out there again. Just gorgeous. I'm up in area three. I'm sorry, I'm at the north end of Area 2, south end of, just south of Area 3. The water is gorgeous. Nice little breeze blowing. The wind is not blowing in the right direction, however. That's why they're saying there's very low concentrations of red tide in parts of Collier County. Coming from the northwest. So that's not a good thing. But fortunately, no red tide here. The water is absolutely gorgeous. Hard to see with the sun not being up. But nice and clean, clear. I don't see all of our bird friends. Well, yesterday and the day before, lots and lots of birds up in area four. I don't see them right now. Yesterday, after our live feed, I did see several ospreys flying around. Maybe we'll catch an osprey this morning, sitting in one of the pine trees. But, yeah, it's too dark out here. There's some pelicans, can you see them out there? Kind of dark, there they go. Once they get above the water, you can see them. I cannot see them on the horizon there. Well, there comes a couple more, a little closer. Morning. Good morning. How are you? Good. How are you doing? Happy to be here. Yeah. I just got back. Yes. Yeah. I was, I was wondering how long you were going to be gone there. We got a fancy new contraption. Yeah. Finally. Thanks, <laughs> Thanks to our friends. Yeah. Good. Find any good shells yet this morning? I just got here. I just found oh. a, a nice mirror. Nice. The, it still has some of the little oh, yeah. things on it. The little so. spines. Yeah. That's a nice looking mirror. My friend uh, Scott, he found a handful of these yesterday. Oh, really? Yeah. They do seem to come in waves. Yeah. No pun intended, but. <laughs> That's funny, Justine. That's you know, a good one. Yep. Every now and you like tend to find things, several, you know, of the same types yeah. of things. They must live in little groups. Yeah, it, it, it does happen like that. So one day you might find a lot of whelks. Or, yep. Yeah, that's yep. exactly right. Yep, so. Me, I never find sharks, Steve. I know. That's so funny. I've I haven't found it. one in a little while, but I do. You really, I think you have to kind of, you have I, to be looking. You're right. You have to walk a little slow, too, to find that. Because yeah, there's so, all these little black stones. They, and there's so many things that look like they Exactly. Those feet. little heart rocks or whatever, heart <laughs> stones. Yeah. 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 Well, this is, have a good walk. Yeah. This is about our time for our dolphins to come by. Oh, really? But, yep. They come by between 7.30 and 8, it seems. It's their I'm, schedule. Oh, I hope to see. I mean, I'm just happy that it looks so nice. Yeah. Because when I was here in August, it was Oh, it was awful, it was not, wasn't it? It was terrible. It was, it was sad. No. Nope. So. 
Fortunately, it's looking great, it's smelling great. I know. <laughs> Keep our Beautiful. fingers crossed. All right, good luck on the shelling. If you find something great, share it with me. <laughs> it's gorgeous out here. We do have some clouds today. Not those crystal clear blue skies. It's still beautiful though. There's actually, it looks kind of like a fog bank down to the south there. Let me see if I can zoom in and show you something here. Looks like they came up onto our beach here in area one. If you look very closely, you can see some flashing lights down on the beach. That's actually one of the big beach rake machines that they use. It rakes the beach. It's way down to the south there. You kind of see the flashing lights. I'll put it, try to get it in the middle of the screen. Right in the middle of the screen there. That's one of the machines I use to clean the county beaches. And every once in a while, they'll sneak up and do the south part of Area 1 at Del Norwegans. You can see the condos there on the right. That's Park Shore. You can see how they're kind of in a little bit of a mist down there. As far as machinery cleaning this beach, they really don't do that at the state park. They pretty much let mother nature take her course or in the case of the red tide or a hurricane, it's all manual labor. I mean, they'll use chainsaws to trim the, the branches up off the beach, but they pretty much let mother nature take her course at all state parks. So therefore, this beach is just constantly, constantly changing shape and size. See another group of pelicans heading down our way here. See if I can follow them. There they come. It's so neat. I mean, they're just inches above the water sometimes. brown pelicans. And down to the south they go. Lots of birds flying by. Lots of birds. There goes some. I don't know if you can see them out here. A little snowy egrets flew by. I was really hoping to see our dolphins. Yesterday, I timed it perfect. I walked out to the beach and the dolphins were out there waiting for me. Might be a little early. But those dolphins, I guarantee you'll see dolphins if you come to this beach. They will come by at some point. Our tide's still coming in here. Almost at high tide. Knock that iris down a little. Sorry about that. Good morning. How are you? Good, thanks. How about you? Great. Oh, here's something I hate seeing. Please don't do this when you come out to the beach. Don't leave big holes like this. Fill your holes in. That's really dangerous. Sea turtle nesting season is over, but that's a huge hazard for our nesting sea turtles and the hatchlings. But now it's a hazard for people. People do come out to this park at night. So please fill in those holes. Oh, and more pelicans flying by. See them down there? Just pelicans after pelicans. Right here where I'm at, this is where you would see all those tree stumps in the water, you know, out just along the edge of the water. Now they're all submerged. They're right out here. It, whoop, a fish just jumped right there. Did you see that? You can see one of the tree stumps just kind of pops up. 
every now and then right over here. But they're all underwater when the tide comes in. They're submerged. It's funny how different this beach looks every morning. No, no osprey. Morning. This is usually, if we see an osprey on our morning walk, this is where we'll spot one a lot of times, right up on that branch. They love that dead branch there. It's a great place to perch. They're right up over the water. Might be there on the way back. I'm not saying that's the only place they are, but that's one of the places we usually spot an osprey. That's the very south end of Area 3. I hear one. I hear an osprey. There is an osprey in these trees here. I hear it chirping. That is an osprey you're hearing. Very, very well camouflaged up there, wherever it is. Oh, he's back down where we started. He's all the way back down there where we came in this morning. There it goes, right there. There's an osprey just flew right by us. Where is it going to land? Boy, there's a lot of little fish jumping out here in the water. It looks like, I think, mullet. It looks like mullet jumping. I saw a huge school of mullet. Watching the osprey, though. He's up ahead of me flying around. It hasn't landed yet. I think there's two of them over here. It's a gorgeous morning. It was 65 when I hit the beach here. It's probably warmed up a degree or two. Ooh, all those birds, those turns are up there on the sandbar. I just saw them take off. Hopefully they'll be up there when we get there. I don't see. Good morning, how are you? Great. I don't see our great blue heron usually right out here somewhere. There's three great blue herons in the park. Well, I've spotted three great blue herons. I don't know if they're still here. One's usually sitting out here. There's a broken murex shell. Our friend Justine found a nice Lace murex, there's a, looks like an old apple murex. It's kind of cool, an old apple murex shell. You can see the inside of it there. My friend Scott, he found quite a few murex shells on the beach yesterday. It's a little cockle shell. There's quite a few people out here shelling already this morning. The earlier you get here, obviously the better. Low tide being the best time. What's this, an old pear whelk? 
Yeah, look at that. That's a really old pair. Well, wow. That's lost its color. You know, when people come out shelling, a lot of people look for certain shells, you know, just particular shells. So that doesn't mean they're, you're not going to find anything. And you always miss something. I miss a lot of stuff while I'm walking on the beach. I don't take my time. I'm kind of breezing through here. I mean, I very well could be walking right by a beautiful shark's tooth right now and not even see it. There's just all kinds of little things on the beach. They're just all camouflaged. Hey, good morning. How are you doing? I'm Joy going to be back on the beach. Ever? Yeah, eventually. You better not be out there, though. Doctor's orders. So what's his condition now? He's, he's healing. I mean, he's mobile. Yeah. But he, uh, he's just not supposed to be out here. Too, it's, they don't want him out here. They're, I mean, it's more in case he, if he fell or something. Out here. Oh, okay. And, and his, I mean, the, the, the new tissue in his leg and everything is kind of like a sponge right now. It's real soft okay. and it's, he's still vulnerable for an infection. I see. And there's always something out here. Sure. I mean, no matter what the conditions are, there's always bacteria out here. And especially in the sand from the red tide. And they just don't want him out here. So Maybe. How does he feel about that? He hates it. He hates it. You know, the way he yeah. wishes he was, you know, he tries sneaking out here, but he gets oh, he busted. Does, huh? Yeah, he gets busted. <laughs> They know at the gate. <laughs> he's not supposed to be out there. Oh, here. really? Yeah. <laughs> so he's driving? But, yeah, he's driving. Okay. Barely. I mean, he's not, he's supposed to just, everything's supposed to be normal. Yeah. Because, just because it's it's his left shin, that's, you know, when you're driving, that's kind of under your console there. So they don't want oh, to, you know, it's like, yeah. be careful getting in and out yeah, of the car. Yeah. And, I mean, he's stubborn. He's 93 years old. He's stubborn. He's not going to change his ways. <laughs> That's why he's 93. Yeah. But he's hopefully, by December 20th, on his on his birthday, his 94th birthday, he'll be able to come out here and we can so have a party. So Not yet. Not yet. But we're keeping our fingers crossed. I mean, it's getting... Every time I see the, the wound, it's looking better and better. So. Well, thanks for keeping Well, welcome up. back. <laughs> Oh, talking about our friend Roy. He is a stubborn old man. And he misses his beach. And we definitely miss him out here at the beach. But he's got to do what the doctor tells him or he won't be coming back to the beach. We're just hoping that we can make his 94th birthday this December 20th. A special day for him. Hopefully we'll be able to celebrate his birthday at the beach. If not, we'll throw a celebration at his house or somewhere and everybody's invited. So hopefully it'll be able to take place here at the beach. Two ducks. Ah, those are ducks flying overhead. Boy, lots of little kittens' paws on the beach this morning. Little kitten paws, lots and lots of them. Had a lot of sand on this one. A little kitten paw, little kitten paw shell. Beautiful little shells. All of our cat-loving friends, they love those little kitten paw shells. A little sandpipers running around here in front of me. All right, dolphins, where you at? 
can't spend too much time out here this morning. I got a, I have an appointment out at my friend's place out there at Kauai Achobe. I'm gonna, I gotta go out to Kauai Achobe and take a couple photos and shoot some video. And maybe, 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 not 100% sure, it all depends on timing and my schedule there. Maybe this afternoon, when the tide's coming in, late this afternoon, we might bring the drone out here and get some aerials of this beach. It's been a long time since we got some aerials here, and this beach has changed tremendously. We got permission from the state of Florida to come out here. because they actually appreciate the aerials. We send them a copy and they use it to keep tracks on track of what the beach is looking like with the erosion and whatnot. Wow, there's a big, big broken Murex shell. Holy smokes, that would have been a gorgeous, gorgeous Murex. That's a big one, holy smokes. That's a big Murex for this beach. Darn it. There have been a lot of, for some reason, a lot of murex shells on the beach lately. People are finding a lot of murex shells. Am I gonna find some? I don't know. Are my friends ahead of me gonna beat me to them? Possibly. Look how flat it is though. Great for spotting dolphins. Here, dolphin, dolphin, dolphin. Could somebody put a call into the dolphins, tell them I'm out here waiting for them to swim by, please? Beautiful down at the Naples Pier yesterday. Absolutely gorgeous. If you didn't see the photos I posted, check them out. Just gorgeous. Not a lot of people at the pier yesterday. I was surprised. Plenty of parking spots left. We went down there about oh, around two o'clock. Plenty of parking at the Naples Pier yesterday. One thing nice about the Naples Pier is if you're a visitor, even if you're a resident, that's one of the few places in Naples and Collier County that you can go fishing without a fishing license is on the Naples Pier. The city has a blanket license that covers everybody on the Naples Pier. Kind of a little bonus, kind of a gift from the city of Naples. So remember that if you're visiting just go rent yourself a couple fishing poles and head down to the Naples Pier. Boy, lots of piles of shells here. Piles of them. They've been here for a while, for several weeks now. Well, more pelicans flying by. See them out there? just above the water. That's so neat. There's one coming, bringing up the rear here. There it is. Where are the dolphins? It is time for the dolphins to be out here. They'll be coming by eventually. There's 
a little snowy egret, a little white bird there on the left. A willet there over on the right. I believe that's what you call them. Willets there on the left now. I call them sandpipers. <laughs> I call them all sandpipers. There's sanderlings, I think, and plovers, and willets and terns and gulls, all kinds of terns and gulls out here, pelican, all kinds of beautiful birds, of course our ospreys, and on a rare occasion you might even see a bald eagle passing through here. I know we have a bald eagle nest in Naples Park, and I think uh, if they come down here and they nest here this winter, Sometimes they fly over here to the beach, just like all the rest of our snowbirds that come down. The bald eagles will come and visit the beach. Little apple murex shell. See what I said? You, you can't find them all. Our friends, our friend Justine, she was ahead of me doing some shelling. She missed this little apple murex. You can't find them all. <laughs> I usually wind up going home with at least one shell in my pocket. Sometimes I don't have enough room in my pockets. Sometimes I put so many shells in my pockets I have a hard time keeping my swim trunks up. <laughs> What do I do with all those shells? Puh. They're just sitting around the house in piles, outside on the patio in piles in the house, all around. My wife is so happy with me when I bring shells home. Ah, not. Nice and flat. The pelicans are sitting out in the water here. That's a good sign. They usually sit on top of a, a school of fish. And they're all sitting out here just off of Area 4. Let's see the pelicans sitting out there. That usually means there's a school of fish right underneath them there. So maybe our dolphins will make a little appearance this morning. See all the birds coming in to sit on their spot at Area 4 here. We'll, we'll see them in a minute. Oh. May just kind of stir them all up, jogging, jogging past them. Boy, there's a lot of, lot of little shells down here at my feet. A lot of little slipper shells out here on the beach this morning. 
our little slippers. Well, the wire looks great here. We're gonna get out and get a little sun here in a minute. Coming out of the shadow of all the trees. All the birds are coming back here. Not as many as we saw yesterday. Not quite as many. We can see the water now. Boy, lots of little fish swimming around out there. Little fingerlings, about an inch and a half, an inch, an inch and a half, big, long. Perfect size for our little snowy eaglets. Here's our feathered friends up here. Some of our feathered friends. Little worm shell over here. The tip of a worm shell and then the, the big piece of a worm shell next to it. More turns flying in here. This is where I recorded that video yesterday of all the birds. Absolutely beautiful. We've got a couple different types of terns here. We've got either the crested, royal crested, and lesser terns. A couple kinds of gulls. And there's some skimmer birds. So nice to see the birds. Where we have birds, we have fish. Makes my morning here. Turn around, if I could turn around and see some dolphins, well, that'd be awesome. Them all just come flying in here. These are all little turns. They're still flying in. startle them. I'm going to walk nice and slow. That was, what were those? Those were skimmers. That's skimmers flying by there, the darker birds. Those are skimmers. They're just landing there. All these blackbirds are skimmers. Absolutely beautiful. I'm going to walk around and get on the other side of them. Got to keep looking behind me, make sure the dolphins aren't coming up. 
coming up the beach. This is about the time the dolphins make their appearance. Beautiful here in area four. I think I'm gonna start calling this, instead of area four, we're gonna call this Roy's Beach. This is where he would always hang out under these trees there, under those pines. That's where Audrey's bench is right back up in under that pine tree there. I'm gonna start calling this Roy's Beach instead of area four. It seems more appropriate. What do you think? Give me a heart if you agree with me. There we go. Got somebody in agreement. Roy's Beach. Boy, the birds are still coming in here behind me. Oh my gosh. Look at them. Somebody behind me kind of startled them. And they took off. Now they're all coming back. It's a beautiful sight. Absolutely beautiful. The skimmers here. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. a lot of birds. Ah, something. We'll just get a little too close. You just make the wrong move and it startles them, but they come right back. Just amazing. Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Scaring them. Something is startling these birds. That was mostly skimmers that flew off. They're going to come right back. They're out in the over the Gulf right now, but they'll be coming right back here. Them. They're headed back at us towards us now. Where are they going? Whoa, that is just incredible. Do you see them all out there in the water? Let's see where they go. Let's see if they come. 
come back here. Still wondering where our dolphins are. And coming back here, there's the skimmers. Turns are still out in the water. Good morning. How are you doing? There's a lot of people walking by here behind me, so I think that's got the birds a little spooked. Beautiful weather out here. Absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous weather. We've got a lot of pelicans sitting offshore here. I'm sitting out there. I was kind of expecting some dolphins to come by here. Usually where you see pelicans, there's dolphins not too far away. Lots of little shells on the beach down here. There's an old whelk shell, an old lightning whelk, some old fighting conks over here. old fighting conks. There's an old worn out apple murex shell. Little pear whelk, an old pear whelk. Worm shell tip of a worm shell. A 
little Murex. There's a little Murex. See what happens when you stop and look? How many people have walked by here and there's a little Murex shell? I just stopped and was picking up some old shells, looking at some old shells, and huh, so now I got two Murex shells this morning. Not really even doing any shelling. Pretty amazing. When you stop and take the time to look, it's amazing what you find. Piece of a moon shell, a shark eye. That's the eye right there. Piece of an old moon shell, also called a shark eye. Slipper shells are everywhere. The little slippers, seeing them everywhere. The little slipper shells, you flip them over, and they look like a little shoe, a little slipper there. Slipper shells. Well, where else should I stop? Stop and look at old shells and find a good shell. Let's see what's down here. A little pile down here. Eh, nothing's jumping out at me here. A little piece of an old, looks like an old tulip shell maybe over here. The murex shells are actually kind of hard to spot just because of their rough texture. They kind of blend in with everything. So you really got to stop and look close. We'll go down the beach. We'll find another pile here. Sometimes it's not the big piles of shells, it's even when you stop and you just look at all the little ones, you'll find something mixed in with them that somebody just walked right by. And it's hard. I mean, some of these shells are, you know, this, most of them are the size of a dime when you're looking down here and smaller. Come on, dolphins, where are you at? This is where they'll, they'll come in here and probably up there a little ways. If they come close to shore, that's where they've been coming lately. Oh, what's down here? I've been seeing a lot of worm tips, a lot of worm tips. No shortage of worm shells out here. Here's a classic example of stopping. Watch what I'm going to show you here. Stop and look. Look at this. A beautiful, a beautiful baby lightning whelk shell. Look at that. That is a beautiful little baby lightning whelk. I would have never seen that if I didn't stop. And that's the kind of stuff you will find, the little treasures you'll find buried in with these piles of little shells on the beach.
Everybody's looking for that big mama. That's little treasures like this. Everybody walks right by. Look at that. That is really cool. That's too fragile to even put in my pocket. Lots of pieces of broken murex shells. Lots of broken murex shells on the beach. It's a piece of a little apple murex right there. Well, I wish I had more time to spend here today. Slippers, lots of these slipper shells, slippers everywhere. Worm tip, slipper shells. Hmm. There's a little olive shell over here by the water. Missing the tip. Oh, it's just half an olive shell. There's nothing on the other side of it. <laughs> Piece of an olive shell. I'm telling you, this is where you gotta look, right along the beach, along the high tide line here. All these in these all these little shells. And that's where you find these little jewels here. These little babies. There's a little fighting conch. That little lightning whelk, that little fighting conch. Little treasures, little gems. There's the inside of a tulip, a banded tulip. What a gorgeous morning out here, just absolutely beautiful. Got some high, thin white clouds this morning. Look at those colors though, isn't that gorgeous? It was 65 degrees when I started my beach walk this morning, 65. Doesn't take long to warm up though. It's probably getting up close to 70 by now. Still haven't seen any dolphins this morning. Nice and flat though. If they do come by, we'll spot them, that's for sure. Piles and piles of little shells along the beach here, piles of them. Spread them out. I know there's shark's teeth buried in there with those for sure.
line. Where's the shark's tooth? I'd love to find a big shark's tooth down here. Hmm. I guess I'm not supposed to have a shark's tooth. There's just piles of little shells along the beach here. Have a great day. Birds did not come back to the beach up there. They have a couple different places they hang out. Kind of sad. Disappointing not to see them. We did get a good look at them, but there's just too much traffic up there and it scared them away this morning. Nice and quiet and peaceful here. Start to see our. Hello, how are you? I'm good. Good, good. Yeah, I hear that. Um... About Roy? Roy. Something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw. Uh, it's probably your video. Yeah. He YouTube. he won't be back for a little while. Is he okay? Yeah, he's getting better. Yeah, probably. We're hoping he can make it back here by December, for December 20th for his birthday. Oh, it's his birthday? Yeah. Okay, how old is it? He'll, He'll be, be 94. Wow. <laughs> so we're hoping he can make it back oh, by then. Good. So what was he doing? Was he swimming in it? Yeah, he was swimming, but he just had an open cut on his leg and does, he doesn't listen. People told him to stay out of the water and no, he okay. went in. Oh, God. So well, he actually, it actually ate, it ate all of his leg away, all in here. He had a big hole. You could see the tendons and the bones. And, oh, no. Yeah, it was awful. Ooh. It was flesh-eating bacteria. And is that all to do with he almost the died. Is no, it has nothing to do with That doesn't have anything to do with the red tide. That's something that's, unfortunately, it's out here all the time. Ooh. But Ooh, it I'm... rarely, rarely affects anybody. Yeah. He was just, just his immune system was very low. and sure. But... You should know not to go in the water with any open sores. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, you're not even supposed to go in a swimming pool with no. open cuts. No. So. Well, well, he learned his lesson anyway. Yeah, Thankfully, well, thank, he didn't thank die. Thank he didn't die. He, he came close. They found him here passed out on the beach. Really? Yeah. Oh, wow. And then there was talk about maybe cutting his leg off there for a week. Because oh. it just spreads really, really fast. Yeah. But he kept his own. Yep. Oh, they just pumped, kept putting antibiotics and antibiotics and he made it. He's, now he's really mad because he can't be out here. Is he at home yet? Or still yeah, he's at home. He's at home. Do you see him? Yeah. Please, please say hi from Rona yeah, on he's, the beach. Yeah, he's open to visitors. Anybody wants to go by and see him, he loves it. Oh, he really? must have 500 cards, get well cards. Oh, <laughs> oh that's fantastic. Yep. No, he's doing great. Yeah, well, I only just got down here a few days ago. Well, you came back at a good time. I, I fortunately, it well. fortunately, the beach is it's, clearing out, clearing, clearing up. Yeah. It's not gone, but it's clearing. Yeah, it's not 100% perfect. No, I can still feel it. Yeah. yeah. All right, we'll have a yeah. wonderful day. Welcome back.
All of our friends from the north and overseas are starting to show back up here in town. Tis the season here in Naples. Oh, look at these. This is a cool looking feather. Look at this. That is a very, very neat looking feather. I think that might be from a skimmer maybe. I don't know. Look at that. That is a really cool looking feather. That is cool. Black and white. You can find some interesting feathers here on the beach. I found a really, really nice osprey feather one day. Something else you can find here are some really interesting fossils. I'm not talking about people, I'm serious. I'm talking about the rocks. <laughs> you can find some nice fossils out in the water. We have two friends that come down from New Jersey every winter, Mike and Mary, and that's all they do is collect fossils. They go fossil hunting every morning here at the beach and they're always finding something interesting. We just seen a lot of broken shells this morning. There's a piece of an old a crown conch. Beautiful. We found a nice whole one. They're absolutely beautiful shells, the crown conchs. Yeah, there's another piece of another one. Two broken crown conchs side by side. Of course, they're little worm shells. Seeing them all over. Still no dolphins out there. I thought we'd have spotted at least one coming by by now. That water temperature is still 83 degrees here, 83. Beautiful Thursday morning here in North Naples. No red tide here at Del Norwegian. One of our little beautiful snowy egrets. You're going to notice more and more people appearing in my beach walks as we get deeper into our season. Naples is a very, very seasonal town. After the holidays, our season 
as we call it, is in full swing after the after the new year. Our population explodes here. And then it lasts through about Mother's Day and then it dies down. Right after Easter, people start disappearing again. You know, it all depends on the season. How if there's an early winter, our season starts a little early. Huh. Nice and flat. Come on, dolphins. I'm almost back to where I started. I'd love is to make an appearance for us before I head out of here. We're in area three now. We started at the north end of area two of area two, went up to area four, Roy's Beach, which we're gonna start calling area four Roy's Beach. And a couple nice little shells this morning. But we did not see our dolphin buddies. Our dolphin friends. They are out there, no doubt about it. They're out there. Where? I don't know. They'll be by quite a few times today if you were to hang out here. You'll see them swimming back and forth, that's for sure. Our tide's starting to go out now, very slowly. How can you not love this place? It is so peaceful. Believe it or not, there's people who live here and they never come out here. They just never come out to the beach. I know a lot of you find that hard to believe. How's it going? Good, how are you doing? Snowy egret looking for a fish.
gonna get one. It's right in my shadow. Nope, and there's another one coming up right behind it. Two little snowy egrets. Looking for their breakfast. See the, the sun reflecting on the bottom there, the reflections. Pretty darn clear of the water. All right, buddy, see you later. Absolutely gorgeous. This is where we started this morning. Right up here on the boardwalk in area two. Even more little look around. Beautiful Thursday. People out here shelling, enjoying the beach. Like I said earlier, we're starting to see more and more people now showing up here. Always remember to look up in these trees. You never know what kind of bird might be perched up there. See our friend Justine is coming back down here with her bag of shells. I'll wait a minute and let's see if she found anything interesting. Let's see what she found. Give those dolphins one more chance to come by here. They're running late. They're running late this morning. Find anything good? No. I found a whole bunch of nice things, but I left them. You left yeah, them for somebody left them else? For other people. There I you go. So many <laughs> did you see dolphin? No, did you see them? Mm -hmm. Not yet. They're running late. Nope. This is usually where they'll come in close now. They used to come in up in four, but because that beach has changed so much, yeah. it's really shallow. They started coming in here between two and three. And dance around right here. Yeah. And there's oh. a lot of fish right out here. You know where there's like a whole bunch of dead trees out there yep. where the beach used to be yep. and that there's tons of fish out here so they'll come nice. chasing them up here yesterday morning as soon as i walked out there were like at least six i think really? maybe eight yeah right here just swimming around maybe tomorrow they probably stayed out late trick-or-treating that was, i forgot <laughs> about that well they all have kids with them now you see all the babies with them so that's probably it that's good. <laughs> Oh, just some Murex shells that you missed. I, saw, I was I saw cleaning up behind you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A lot of big, I saw a couple big Murex broken I ones. Broken I'm like, ah. I, I know. But sometimes when they're, when they're broken and oh, you can it, see it's the really inside, interesting. they're really yep. pretty. All the okay. shells, when you can see the inside. Yeah. yeah so pretty. I'm, I'm, known, I'm notorious for broken shells and no shark's teeth. 
I can find <laughs> no shark's teeth You're every day find of the week. The shark's teeth I hope I do. Days. I mean, I was standing on one one day and didn't even know it, and that's, my friend picked that's it how up. I found my first one. I wasn't standing on it. I was standing down at five, and all of a sudden, I was like. I wonder if there's shark's teeth around here. And literally, I looked down. And That's right exactly what foot, happened. There was a shark's tooth. I couldn't believe it. And then after that, I started finding. My friend, like, we're talking teeth. about him. We're talking about our friend from Toronto, from Canada, Bill. He finds them all the time. And we're saying, oh, he just keeps them in his pocket. He goes and drops them out and says, hey, look what I found. You know, we're yeah, a kid. And... There's that couple that are here in season from Colorado. Yep, they're here now. Oh, yep. they are? Yep, they're, they're back. back. Yeah, and they just seem to find. They do. Know, she find found. 15, she found a couple. Of yeah, a, in a day. She found some about this big. In the past couple of days, she said they're worth like fifty, sixty dollars a piece. Really? Yeah, I'm like, oh, wow. Yeah. I'm in the wrong business. I need to be looking, looking <laughs> right, harder. I gotta just come out here and do that all day long. <laughs> oh well, we'll have a great. All right, day. see you later, Justine. Welcome back. So many great people out here. And everybody out here has something in common. They love this beautiful beach. And they choose Del Norwigans at all the beaches they can choose in Collier County and Southwest Florida. They choose Del Norwigans. Beautiful, mile long, unspoiled beach. All natural. All of our beaches are gorgeous, don't get me wrong. And if you don't want somebody peering down at you with binoculars or a telescope from their balcony on a condo in a condo, this is the beach you want to come to. No condos along this beach, no houses along this beach. That's what I like. Oh, and our governor, he lives down the beach a ways down there. Our soon to, well, our soon to be former governor. <laughs> I'm pretty sure of that. Rick Scott. Yeah, Florida has its share of imbeciles in politics right now. There's my political rant. Everybody run. I'm not in favor of anybody running right now. I got no favorites. It's a really tough decision. Nobody's perfect. So you just got to go with whoever you think's going to do the best they can. Isn't that beautiful? All right, dolphins. I don't know where you are. Justine was probably right. The kids were out trick or treating. The little dolphin kids trick or treating late last night. So, mom and dad's having a hard time getting them out of bed. So that's why we haven't seen any dolphins this morning. Maybe tomorrow. You never know. Every morning is something different out here. Hey, be sure to take the time to check out my photos and videos. You got there's gonna be something there you like. When you find something you like, hit the share button, hit the like button, tell your friends about Southwest Florida television. It's kind of sad. We're getting thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of views when the red tide was out here. Everybody wanted to see the red tide. Now that it's beautiful, our views are declining. If anybody wants to make a little contribution, it's always welcome. I appreciate it. Nobody pays me to come out here and do these beach walks or do the other things I do on Facebook. Every once in a while, I try to venture off and show you a little, something a little different here. But if you want to make a little donation, I appreciate it. You can find my PayPal account in the description of this post. 
until hopefully tomorrow morning. Everybody have a wonderful day. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless.